All right, rant time. Woohoo! I think I'm gonna rant about Ozark, mainly Ozark season three, because I don't know if I was pissed off. I think I'm just pissed off about the whole Netflix model. The whole model of we're not gonna give you what you wanna see. We're gonna kind of, we're gonna add in side stories that you don't give a fuck about just so you binge. You know, the only goal of Netflix is to get you to the next episode. Like, the only goal is just to get you to say, you know what, fuck it, I'll watch another one. That's, that's the, all they care about. And I think Ozark was a good example of that, where they, they ended every episode on a cliffhanger, which every fucking show does at this point, you know. When, when, it was, when you had to wait a week and they left you on a cliffhanger, it was, like, incredible to wait that week. And then finally see what you were you were looking for, and then most times you were disappointed. But they leave you in another cliffhanger. By the end of it, you wouldn't you'd forget that they, they pissed you off in the first place. But Netflix leaves you in a cliffhanger, and then you're like, oh well, I can just push play and watch the next one. So Ozark season three, I liked it. You know, there's not a lot of great great television out right now, in my opinion at least. You know, I'm sure people will say, oh, have you watched this fucking Australian show? Uh, no, I haven't. But. Um, Ozark is probably one of the best shows out right now. And look at this fucking dummy. Why are you letting him go? He's an asshole. Um, it's probably the best show out right now. And I didn't mind it because... I think the main reason I didn't mind it is because a lot of the times when you're seeing shows with little kids, like a family, the little kids are the fucking worst. But the kids in this show aren't that bad. You know who was bad? Fucking Wendy Bird's shithead brother. Who, spoiler alert, gets fucking killed and I'm glad. He fucking deserved it. He deserved it five times in that one episode. Where she was, you know, essentially driving him to his doom. Spoiler alert. If, if you fucking, if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll put this in the fucking comments. If you haven't seen it yet, don't watch this video. Because I'm going to spoil the shit out of the third season. Um, you know, they blamed it on, like, mental illness, but it was more than just being, bi you know, bipolar. It was him being a fucking idiot. An absolute fucking idiot. Like, I have a friend that I perceive as a fucking idiot, and that's what he was acting like. Like, you'd say something to him, I'm sorry, I know, and then he'd go do it again. Be crying. And the only thing that I was pissed off about is you didn't see him get fucking shot in the face. I fucking hated him. Ugh. I don't even remember his stupid fucking name. And you know the bitch of it was? I loved him the first time he came on the scene. Like, he didn't know who he was at first. And then he shows up, and it's, oh, it's Wendy's brother. But he's a teacher, and some kid's getting fucking bullied by other scumbag kids. And uh, he grabs their phones and fucking throws it in a, a wood chipper and then beats the shit out of the guy who stops him, who just tries to stop him. It's like, oh, this guy is a fucking passionate badass that... It's out there to do the right thing. And then he became like, oh, I'm the fucking moral compass of this show. You know what you're doing is wrong. No, we had no idea working for a drug cartel was wrong. We thought it was normal. We thought it was good. We thought we, I thought this is how we got into the pearly gates of heaven. Working for the Navarro fucking crime syndicate. Dummy. Um, so yeah, Marty Bird is still the best thing on that show. Um, Jason Bateman's absolutely tremendous, and he said a while ago he didn't like doing movies like Horrible Bosses. He thought it was just kind of like brain shit. I don't know what the term he used, but it didn't it didn't get you anywhere. It didn't it didn't educate you at all. It didn't it wasn't impassioned. It was just kind of like fart jokes, which I mean I love those movies. I thought they were both hilarious, but um, this is like him coming into his own. This he's. He's doing what he wants to be doing as, a, as an actor. And he's, he's compelling. He's very compelling. There is some humor in there because you just know him as an actor. And you know his you know, dry sarcasm. But it's very good. It's very compelling. Um, Wendy Bird's great. And you know my little brother's always fucking ragging on her like she's the biggest CNX twos. And I'm like, well, you're probably right. But she, that, that means she's good at acting. That means she, she knows what she's doing. Because when, when people can pull that kind of emotion out of you, especially anger, 
you know, it's it, it kind of proves that they're not bad. They're not bad at acting. Um, so hats off to her. The kids, again, aren't brutal, aren't bad. The lawyer's great. She's just a cold, hard bitch, and, and I love her. Um, overall, the show is very good, and it's probably the best show on television. It was just Wendy's fucking brother who was like Carl. He was basically Carl from Walking Dead. There it is. It comes full circle. He's fucking Carl. Carl. He's fucking shithead Carl. Everybody hates. And and justifiably so. So yeah, there's my rant of why Wendy's fucking brother is a douchebag. And I'm glad he got shot in the face. Hopefully he got shot in the face. Let's, you know. I mean, it's not confirmed yet, but there's a good chance he got shot right in his fucking face. So, yes. Rant over. Ozark still highly recommend it. I mean, if you've seen this video, then spoiler alert, but it's it's probably the best show on television right now, so I would uh, I would definitely watch it. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. If you think I'm wrong, well, again, I will tell you why you're wrong, but um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that hot jazz. And we will see you later. Toodles.